Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. Before I begin, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, and who has donated to this channel. Also, thank you to everyone who has purchased a reading with me. This is for the sign of Virgo from the time you, uh, for the month of April or from the time you view this video. Um, please keep in mind it is a general reading. That means it will not resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. Um, generally, you know, uh, if these first few cards, if that doesn't sound like your story, then most likely it is not for you. So let's begin here. This is for the, um, the person that you're thinking of in, romantically, okay? So what they might be showing you... Um, we have the Queen of Swords. Now, she's been hurt, so they may give you this attitude, um, maybe um, very guarded. They can come off as, as being very cold, uh, very standoffish. Um, what if it's because there's like opposite energies here. And then we have this seven of pentacles in reverse so somebody um in when it's in the upright they're assessing when it's in reverse they've made up their mind and the ten of cups they might be showing you that they want this this happiness um this relationship but then you know sometimes they'll get this here uh this attitude or or they'll give off this um this coldness. Um, I feel like they've been hurt by you. For whoever this is for, it's like almost like a relationship that is trying to repair itself, but this person is having difficulty, okay, trying to uh, repair this relationship. They may feel like you're their Ten of Cups or that you were, but they're having difficulty dealing with some sort of hurt or pain. Um, because this queen, she's been through the mill. So what are they thinking? Well, we have the tower in the reverse, the four of, sword, uh, four of rods in reverse, and the justice. In this deck, the four of rods is about uh, a direction. Now, when it is in the upright, somebody's taking a new direction. When it is in the reverse, I feel like they are undecided as to which direction the relationship is going. And that energy gets carried over there uh, in the before tarot. But... So they're unsure. Um, <clears throat> so they're avoiding taking this, uh, taking a decision at this time. Okay, they want to be sure to do the right thing. Justice is about that. When it's in the upright, it's about doing the right thing. Um, it's about actions, decisions, and the consequences of those decisions or of those actions. They want to make sure that they're making the right choice. Now, how they actually feel, we have the Seven of Swords, not a good card to have there, along with Moira and uh, a card of Farewell. So, they may feel like um, they cannot forgive you for some sort of betrayal or some sort of lie. And they may feel like leaving. Because over here in what they're planning, here we have this, um, the hermit, and he's got that, uh, the star that you generally lights up that lantern. He has it in his hand and he's studying it. And so there's no light here. There's no direction. 
And so he's wondering which direction this is going. And see, he stands in the cold, and she stands in the cold. I feel like um, they may, in what they're planning, we have the two of coins in reverse. So this person, uh, whereas before they were juggling two ideas, they have now, I feel, made up their mind. And they may have made up their mind as to, you know, this eight of cups energy, which is this relationship no longer emotionally serves me. But they haven't left yet but I feel it is turning in their mind because the tower is sitting here and um, they may feel that you guys are just, you know, on different floors or that you're too different or that it's just, you know, no longer emotionally fulfilling for them. And this tower has not hit yet, just like this person has not left yet, but it, it, it's in the making, it's in the plan. reason being that they don't feel that they can forgive and what is influencing this person's behavior we have the emperor okay and he sits on what looks like a chessboard almost i always get that feeling with this card and he's staring down at those tiles looks like he's thinking as to which move he's going to make in order to take control of a situation and the situation is the devil and the ten of swords which is a betrayal so he is feeling stabbed in the back he could be feeling that you know um, this ten of cups is just an illusion or was. He could be, I mean, this can be third party, but this can also be fears of betrayal. Uh, again, I feel it does go back to third party because we also have it over here. So this person is in this reflection planning stage. They've withdrawn um, here like this ailing king wanting to do the right thing um six of pentacles in the reverse someone you know it's it's an imbalance knight of swords and the three of cups and so um again i feel with the devil being here in this reading uh and the seven of swords being here in this reading i feel like um, there was a third party. I feel uh, this is the basis for this decision to leave because uh, they fear betrayal or that you're not loyal to them or that, or that they cannot deal with it or cannot forgive you for it. And uh, this Knight of Swords energy is very challenging. Um, so this could be news that they are going to um, be bringing forth that uh, will cause some sort of upheaval here. It's something that blows in quickly but goes out just as quickly but leaves a lot of damage in its wake that Knight of Swords because you can see the building uh, in the distance here that is on fire. Over here, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse indicates a loss. Um, Eight of Pentacles. Hmm, what do I do? So there was, a, you know, there was that challenge of the devil, of the, the third party, uh, an attempt to repair it. Do I really want to put this effort in here? Um, 
page of swords in the reverse somebody was sneaking around and this is why uh, the chariot is also in reverse four of pentacles holding on uh, I feel like I feel like they've been um, holding on to the pain of the betrayal I, I feel really that's what it is and because it comes with the Ten of Rods reverse, it's like they're unable to lay that down. And this is the basis for this decision here. And it's not because they don't love you, because clearly they do. It's a very difficult uh, decision for them with the Queen of Cups being here. Uh, a lot of memories, both feet are in the water, so they're very emotional here. Um, but they're just unable to forget with the Nine of Swords. This is the second time I do this reading, and the message has come up the same. So definitely there's somebody out there that needed to hear this. I thank you for watching, and... Many blessings. Bye for now.